Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm the Shakta Guru Nandini Devi and today we're talking about how to connect to Kali. And there's a lot of different videos about Kali on here and you can also reach out to get a reading to see what your personal connection with Kali is and also intuitive counseling where we can coach you through your spiritual journey. So a lot of people reach out to me uh, over the years asking, you know, is their relationship to Kali real or, you know, what to do to nourish their relationship to Kali or just to share their stories about how Kali came into their life. And everyone has a different story. Everyone has a different connection. Your connection to Kali is your own connection to Kali. There are differences between being a child or, or a devotee or just interested or just Kali coming in because some type of divine intervention is necessary and she happens to be the one who can do this divine intervention. This particular divine intervention can only happen by the Divine Mother. Kali is not tied to any particular race or religion, but it's important to not practice indigenous practices, South Asian, African, diaspora practices when you were not born into it when it's not part of your culture it's important to do these things mindfully i talk about cultural appropriation in my videos often because it's important for us to engage with spirit mindfully and not to create more karma for ourselves here on earth not to block someone else's light and sun while we're engaging with a practice. There are certain closed practices, for instance, practices where you get initiated, and there's a reason for that. We're preserving certain lineages. When it comes to Kali, Kali is a universal energy. She is everything, she is Shakti. So there is no quantifying, owning, or separation of what Kali is. Kali is all. But Shaktism, the practice of Kali comes from South Asia and Shaktas, which are worshippers of Kali, who call themselves Shaktas, who are born as Shaktas, who come from lineages of Shaktism, face a lot of erasure and we are marginalized, even sometimes within our own communities. Kali worship is not seen as something magical and amazing and powerful, even within the South Asian diaspora. A lot of people have been taught to fear their own practices through casteism and colonization. If you don't know the history of these practices, educate yourself and it'll help you to maintain mindfulness in how you engage with it. Now, that being said, how can we all connect to Kali? What's a way that we can each connect to Kali? And here in this video, you'll find a way that's open to all people of all walks of life. If you want to know your personal experience with Kali, please reach out or go a little deeper. Find your teacher, find your community, and you'll learn. Especially, I'm speaking to those of you who may have lineages that you have lost. Okay, we're talking about the diasporas. You know, we're talking about Black, Indigenous, people of color. Those of us who have been connected, disconnected from our practices through colonization, through indentured servantry, through all these violent experiences in our past generations or even within present day phobias, okay? Also with aligning to the dominant culture and not being able to feel safe or not feeling like you can because you have to survive, you have to work, you have to assimilate, whatever it is. Those of you who are trying to find your practices, who have a connection with Kali, I really highly suggest you work on affirming yourself and validating your connection. There are a lot of people that were not born with a connection to Kali at all that are taking liberties to find their connection to Kali. So really do the work and trust yourself. Now, part of this practice of connecting with Kali is a meditation. So I invite everyone at this time to pause. And if you don't have the time or space while you're listening to this and you're in movement, you can do this later. But I invite everyone to take a second and close your eyes. And I want you to notice what is behind your eyelids. Just, just noting it. Maybe you see color, maybe you just see darkness, whatever it is that you're noticing. That is your first connection. As soon as you close your eyes. 
And now I want you to peer into that space and you could be saying to yourself, well, I'm just looking at the back of my eyelids. <laughs> but once you close your eyes, you're in another space of reality. You're in a deeper reality. It's an inner reality. And you can think about it in a physical way. Yes, this is my body and I'm looking inside my body. But there's another reality that starts to emerge. A spiritual reality. A deeper awareness and consciousness. There's a reason why we keep our eyes closed during meditation. We begin to travel deeper and deeper into a divine awareness. We go deeper and deeper into the layers of consciousness, into our subconscious, into our inner universe. And you can imagine that our inner universe is connected to an outer universe. So it's a circle. And so I want you to imagine going deep, deep, deep until you come out into space. Imagining it a circle as you travel from space back into Earth. Back into the sky and into your country and state and city and home and into your body and then I want you to go deeper again yet even another layer of depth deep into that darkness into that space that inner space and circle back around now I want you to center yourself take a deep breath and open your eyes when you're ready That's your first practice to connect with Kali. There's no image, there's no goddess, there's no woman, there's no anything. It's just you. You going within and learning to connect yourself to the outer world from going inside. That's your first practice with Kali. And there are a lot of traditional ways to engage with Kali. These practices may not be for you. And they may not be for your path, but you can still connect to Kali if you wish to connect to Kali or if you feel Kali has come into your life. This is the way to go. Keep it very simple. The messages, the healing, whatever it is that this connection is giving you will start to emerge. Kali often comes to people who aren't part of her lineage to remind us who we are to remind us of our ancestors to remind us of our guides to remind us of our purpose to remove us from situations that are toxic or that are blocking our purpose situations that are dangerous situations that are tied to systemic oppression Kali comes in to assist when there's really big energy occurring beyond our own personal ability to face she comes in and helps us to face it i encourage you to start your practice today and find out more by letting it happen letting it happen you don't have to search for her you don't have to do a very big puja or ritual only when you're called to it and you'll know when you are i'm sending you lots of love i'm making this video during navratri so if you happen to watch it during navratri happy navratri and may your practice be blessed and aligned jayama